Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have created the Azure Databricks cluster. Now, in this video, we will discuss about the Azure Databricks pricing. Here first, we will discuss the factors which are affecting the Databricks cost. After that, we will understand how to calculate the Databricks cost and then we will explore the documentation for the Azure Databricks pricing and the Linux virtual machine pricing. And do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Here I am continuously sharing the content related to data engineering, Databricks and Azure Cloud. Let us understand the Azure Databricks pricing. The Databricks uses a pay-as-you-go model for its cluster pricing. That means you only pay for the resources that you use. The cost is calculated based on the following factors. First one is the instance type. Instance type is the type of virtual machine that is used for your cluster. The Databricks offers various instance types with different processing power and memory capacities. The more powerful is the instance, the higher is the cost per hour. The second factor is cluster size. This is the number of worker nodes in your cluster. Each worker node adds to the overall cost. The third factor is cluster usage time. This is the amount of time your cluster is running. And note down, the Databricks builds on per second basis. Fourth factor is Databricks units. In short, we can say that DBUs. DBUs are a unit of processing capability that is built on per second usage. The DBU consumption depends on the size and type of the instance running on Azure Databricks. So the cost is calculated based on these four factors. There is one more factor which affects the cost. Let us understand this. Additional cost. Depending on your specific requirements, you may incur additional costs for the features such as storage. This is for storing your data on Databricks. Enhanced security and compliance. This is for customers processing regulated data. And the Delta Live tables. This is for building and managing the data pipelines. So the Databricks pricing is calculated on the basis of instance types, cluster size, cluster usage time, Databricks units and additional costs. Let us understand how to calculate the Databricks cluster cost. As we discussed earlier, these are the factors with which the Databricks cluster cost is calculated. Instance type, cluster size, cluster usage time, Databricks units and additional cost. And this is how we can calculate the total cost. Instance type cost per hour into number of worker nodes into cluster usage in hours. In addition to that, DBU consumption into DBU cost per hour plus the additional cost. So this is how we can calculate the Databricks cluster cost. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Let us suppose we are using the instance type as standard DS3 v2 which is costing $0.35 per hour and we are using cluster size as 4 worker nodes. The cluster usage is 160 hours per month and the DBU consumption is 1000 DBUs per hour. The DBU cost is $0.01 per DBU per hour and the additional cost is $100 per month of storage. On the basis of these inputs, let us calculate the pricing. We fitted the numbers in the formula that we discussed in earlier slide and this will be the total cost $19.24 per month. So this is how we can calculate the Databricks cluster cost. Let us see the more information about the Databricks cluster pricing by going to the Azure Databricks documentation. So this is the documentation for Azure Databricks pricing. Now scroll down. From here we can explore the pricing options. We have to apply the filters to customize pricing options that we need. First we have to select the workload. I will select all purpose compute. Tier. You can select standard or premium. I will go with the premium. Then we have to select the region. I will select West US. Currency. United States dollars. Display pricing by R. Or month we will go with R 
first we are able to see the standard tier features these are the features features for all purpose compute jobs compute and jobs light compute this is the first feature apache spark on databricks platform enabled for all purpose compute also enabled for jobs compute and jobs light compute so these are the features for standard tier now scroll down you can explore all these features then we have the features for premium tier these are the features all purpose compute jobs compute and jobs light compute these are the features enabled or not you can see here then scroll down delta live table features for dlt core dlt pro and dlt advanced then we have enhanced security and compliance add-ons then the workloads the azure databricks offers three distinct workloads on several virtual machine instances tailored for your data analytics workflow the jobs compute and the jobs light compute workloads makes it easy for data engineering to build and execute jobs and the all purpose compute workloads makes it easy for data scientists to explore visualize manipulate and share data and insights interactively so these are the three distinct workloads jobs compute and the jobs light compute these two for the data engineering tasks and the all purpose compute is for the data science related tasks then we have pay as you go here we have workload pricing for standard tier and premium tier for example for the all purpose compute this is the pricing 0.40 dbu per hour and for the premium tier 0.55 dbu per hour these are the pricings for delta live tables for the dlt core dlt pro and dlt advanced as well as the databricks has unit pre purchase plan here you can get up to 37% savings over pay as you go dbu prices one year pre purchase plan for 12500 databricks commit units this is the pricing pricing with discount 4% discount applied it goes up to 33% then we have 3 year pre purchase plan first we have databricks commit units price with discount and the percentage of discount it goes up to 37% and after that we have information about the instances this is general purpose instance dsv2 series under dsv2 series first we have this instance ds3 v2 it has 4 vcpus 14 gb ram the dbu count 0.75 dbu price pay as you go total price one year reserved virtual machine total price three year reserved virtual machine total price and spot total price here you will get all the information about all the instances that databricks has i hope you understood the azure databricks pricing with the help of this documentation let us see the virtual machine prices here we will see linux virtual machine pricing scroll down here we can explore the pricing options for pay as you go azure savings plan for compute reserved instances and spot instances let us apply the filters i'll select the operating system as ubuntu category i'll go with the general purpose virtual machine series i'll select this one dadsv5 series region west us currency us dollars display pricing by r and we will go with the savings plan 1 to 3 year 
we have selected the general purpose and this is the instance and these are the options for the same instance vcpus ram temporary storage pay as you go pricing one year savings plan three year savings plan and spot as well as you can add to estimate here you can explore all the pricing for the linux as well as you will get information about the linux support canonical ubuntu server linux images and ip address options so this is all about the linux virtual machine prices in the documentation we understood the azure databricks pricing and linux virtual machines pricing i'll share these two links in the video description so you can explore this more so the azure databricks pricing is dependent on these factors instance type cluster size cluster usage time databricks units and the additional cost now i hope you understood the databricks pricing from this video i'll see you in the next one